start the show, I'm fixing my hair, and I'm like, wow, I didn't realize the camera was rolling. Everybody, welcome to Afterscope. It's going to be what? The, the best, best 30 minutes of your week. Okay, they sound a little dead this week. I think I'm missing my producer. Mr. Michaels, when are you coming back? Okay, but everybody, energy up. It's going to be a great show. I am so glad to be here. So glad to be here. You know it's gonna, it's Actors Club's gonna be the best 30 minutes of your week. 57 shows in. I cannot believe we're 57 shows in. All right, you know, praise be to God for making it happen. Okay, so before I go on, you know this is the week, guys. This is the week. We are having, for the past three weeks, we've been telling you about the contest that we've been having. Dwayne Boyd, shout out to Dwayne Boyd. I've been shouting him out for about a month now, but shout out to Dwayne Boyd for saying that he's going to give one lucky Actorscope viewer a month worth of acting lessons. So, our contestants are here today. We are excited. They submitted their monologues. The top three have been chosen. And in the building today, we have Angela Ray, Cassandra Hollis, and Jermaine Brooks. So I can't wait to see it. I, you know I love a good monologue competition. Okay, now, everybody's here. I love it. The hearts are coming. Share and tweet. Everybody take a moment. Share and tweet. Let everybody know that Actorscope is on. And if they're serious about their craft, this is where they need to be for the next 30 minutes. Okay, probably 29 or 28 right now. Okay, now, you know we have our Who's Got Heart competition. We've been doing this, I guess, at least probably 50 weeks now, like, like forever, right? And, and how it goes is whoever gives the most hearts, keep those hearts coming, okay? Whoever does the most hearts gets to put their headshot all over our social media. So who was it last week? Let's see who won last week. Last week's winner was Elisa Jade. I hope I'm saying your name right. Elisa Jade. She has 1,500 hearts. Guys, that's, that's fantastic, all right? So let's keep those hearts coming. Let's see who this, year, this week's winner is going to be. Also, for our people in Facebook land, we haven't forgotten about you. When you guys joined us about probably three months ago, we created a competition for you. And the way that competition works is we ask you a question about last week's show. That's why you guys should always review the show before we go on the air. We ask you a question about last week's show, and whoever answers it first and sends us the email wins. Okay, so this week's winner is... Ariel Salmon, um, she, she's the winner, and she answered last week's question properly. Now, where do you send your answers on Facebook? WSA.actorscope at gmail.com. Once again, that's WSA.actorscope at gmail.com, okay? So make sure you get your answers in. Now, for this week's question, our um, beloved showrunner has gone on to greener pastor. Well, we're green here, too. But we're very, very proud of her. And last week, we had her on the show. Towards the end, I hope you watched it. And we announced what network she's gone on to. So, guys, what network did our past showrunner, Natasha Darius, go on to? And we are so proud of her. And we're shouting her out. Sending you lots of love, darling. I know you're starting soon. And I won't say the network, but they're getting one of our top-notch people. Okay, so answer the question, what network is Natasha Darius going on to? For Facebook, let's get your answers in. Once again, that's wsa.actorscope at gmail.com. Whoever gets in first will be our winner. Okay, did I, I announce last week's winner? Okay, now, I feel like I'm talking fast. I'm going to slow down because they're always talk, telling me that I talk way too fast. I think it's the New York and the West Indian to me. I'm going to slow down so you guys can catch up. Keep those hearts coming. It looks like Skittles. I love it. Okay, so, who's that? Yup. Uh, hey, Terrell! I miss you, Terrell. You gotta come visit. Okay, so now, why are we here? We're here because we want to uplift actors. We want to give you guys information, inside information, give you all the tools that you need to what better yourself in your craft. Hey, Terrell, come visit, come visit. Okay, so now, some of you wonderful actors out there in actor scope land have sent in, oh, Rosa Mack, hey, Rosa Mack, have sent in questions, and I know I'm going back and forth, and I digress, but they're going to tell me to go longer, go longer. It's a live show. I do the best that I can. Okay, so our first question is from Taylor in San Francisco, California. Taylor asks, why do people so frequently call you a casting agent instead of a casting director? Well, that's really easy, Taylor, because they're misinformed. There's no such thing as a casting agent. You are either an agent, which you work for the talent, or you're a casting director, which you work for the production company. 
Now, most people don't know the difference, so they, they created the misnomer casting agent. It doesn't exist. You heard it here. And you can, all, you can always tell people who are green or new to the industry because they make that mistake. They call me a casting agent, and I know automatically that they're new to the industry, okay? So remember, it's either a casting director who works for and represents the production company or an agent who works for the talent. Okay, so please, guys, get that right. I hope you at least get that little morsel this week. Okay, now Tony from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, that's where Laverne and Shirley used to take place. Okay, <laughs> Tony from Milwaukee, Wisconsin said, How does working with an acting coach really help actors? I think, Tony, now once again, I tell you guys all the time that my information is personal, it is essential, it's not written as gospel anywhere, but this is the thing that I believe. I believe if you get yourself a good, solid acting coach, it helps you with your performance in the room. People, actors are always asking me, well, how do I not be nervous? Well, if you know you're ready, you're actually less nervous, okay? And I always suggest to actors, especially if you're up for a big role, contact your acting coach, Get an hour with them so they can help you fine tune it and nail that audition and you know make you stand out amongst the people who don't take the time and don't invest in themselves in that way. Okay, so I think it's essential. I'm pretty sure if you talk to other um, casting directors, they'll say the same thing, but I do not deem to speak for them. Do you want to cast me for the upcoming season of Being Mary Jane? Dead serious. Okay, dead serious. <laughs> um, Send your stuff in. Send it into Actors Access, okay? That was so off topic, that series. You know I'm talking about something else, and you go ask me that question. Send your photo in, okay? So I hope I answered the question, which is, do you really need an acting coach? I think it's essential if this is serious for your craft and not a hobby, okay? Um, Bailey from Atlanta, Georgia says, if you have a lack of quality material for a showreel, what would be your advice for actors wanting to get some work? Don't create a reel until you have stuff that you want on it. Whatever you do, do not put a bad reel out there because you don't get a second chance at a first impression. Okay, so wait until you have stuff that represent, represents you well because it's like your business card, it's like your resume, it's like your headshot. Once it's out of your hand, you really don't know where it will end up and you want to make sure wherever it end up ends up, it represents what you want it to represent. So hold off on a reel until you can get a quality reel. It doesn't have to be long, Two, you know, three or four things, three at the minimum, I would say, to so, show different types of acting that you can do. But if it's not ready, don't send it, okay? Everything in its time. When your reel is ready, you will know. You know, I hope you have some friends around you, other actors, maybe your acting coach, people who can help you decide, okay, this is the kind of stuff that belongs on your reel, but don't send no reel before it's time, okay? That's basically what I'm saying. Send no reel before it's time, because once it goes out in the universe, you don't want it to misrepresent you, and you do not get a second chance at a first impression, okay? So I hope that helps somebody, all right? Now, on to one of my favorite parts of the show. And we have a newbie, so please, guys, give us a huge round of applause for Anais, who's doing the work casting. Yeah. Hi, guys. How you doing? This is Anais' first time. Be kind. Tell us how much you love her. Yeah, okay? I, I'm usually behind the camera, not in front. For but like 57 weeks. I, okay. But I, I kind of have to do my little shameless plug right now for when some men have to. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Shameless plug time. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Uh, so I'm going to tell you guys what's casting within Atlanta right now. So we have Catra and Associates Casting. It's for a feature film project. Ooh. Submissions at CatraCasting.com. They're looking for men, women to portray office worker types, all shapes, sizes, ethnicity, ethnicities. Oh, I messed up. I know what happened. Don't rush, don't rush. Don't rush. Uh, they're looking for people 21 to 65 years of age. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a nice range. Yes, okay. it is. Please submit photos wearing business attire. Ooh. So, you know, you want to put on your best shirt, blazer. Exactly. Jacket, button down, no, no party clothes, no, no party club. Clothes. No, no. Yeah, no. But whatever he was wearing at the club this Saturday, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Also, you must be available for fitting this Friday, September 9th. So it's this Friday, guys. The shoots are September 20th, 22nd, and October 3rd, 6th, and 8th. Oh, wow. So make sure, you guys, that you are available for all days because it's really, you know, messes up continuity. Yes, if they it does. tell you specific days and you go, oh, I can do three of them. No, they need you to for all of them. If you're not available for all, don't submit for this one. Exactly. Okay. And also in the subject line, put cubicle. 
so they know that you're applying for the business role. Nice, nice. Catherine, they do, oh, they're always doing stuff. I love it. Yes, they have a lot of stuff. A lot. Plus, we do. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> also, this is for Rose Lock Casting. They are casting for Diary of a Wimpy Kid, book Ooh. number nine. So, anybody that has, what, tweens, if you want to still call yeah, them? Yeah, tweens, tweens. I think so. They know about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm older than you. What do I know? <laughs> Um, there it's extras at roselockcasting.com. They're seeking kind looking women to portray women at a petting zoo. So oh, nice. 40 years and older, oh. all ethnicities again, yeah. um, must be comfortable holding a small piglet. Piglet? A piglet. Yeah, that just ruled me out. That okay. ruled you out? Okay. Not an outdoorsy type. Not an outdoorsy type. Oh, okay. Cat? No. Dog? No. No? Okay. No. Just, just checking. No, no. Okay. The shoots are October 18th and 19th in Stone Mountain. Okay. In the subject line, put petting zoo. Okay, cool. Very nice. If okay. Guys, also, if you don't get this information, and I just will make sure that it goes up on our, our Facebook page so you can get it. But you should be watching the show with a paper and pen yes, right now. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. As yes. an actor. Okay, now we're looking in Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Chi-Town. Once again, Chi-Town is getting cold. I won't be there anytime soon. See you next month. Okay, so this is for everyone's favorite Fox show, Empire. Yes! So what they're looking for is young five to eight-year-old girl Ooh. wanted for the role of young Candace. Okay. Now, it's a female African-American, five to eight, to play five to eight, Candace. Must resemble Vivica A. Fox. So anybody that has a kid that looks like Vivica. Many, many Vivica out there, get, get at us. <laughs> Okay, um, you're going to submit your resume and contact info to empirecastingchi at gmail.com. Nice. And you need to submit a recent headshot or nice. photo. Shoot dates are from September 14th to September 23rd. The audition dates are September 7th and 8th. Okay, guys, I hope you got that. Okay, okay we love Empire here. Can't wait till... You know, the Lions Dynasty yes. is back on the air. We love that show. Shout out to Lee Daniels and Leah. Leah Daniels. She does the casting in L.A. Okay. They are also looking for one other. They're looking for a roughneck dude. Ooh. So male, early 30s, African-American, knucklehead type into hardcore hip-hop. I know lots of knuckleheads. <laughs> The prototype, <laughs> the prototype they're looking at is you have to be similar to Method Man. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right, Empire. I see what okay, you're so doing. this is. A, I see you. I see you, Empire. <laughs> so this is a big, tough guy is getting a hair weave dreads when a celebrity enters the salon. He aggressively asks for an autograph and gets angry when he's told to back off. Three speeches and two lines. Nice. Okay. Must okay. have fro or dreads. Again, you're going to submit a headshot or recent photo to EmpireCastingCHI at gmail.com. I hope you guys are paying attention. We don't just tell you about extra work. We tell you about principles, too. Yes, we do. Okay, so hope you're listening. And the shoot dates are the same, September 14th through the 23rd. The audition dates are September 7th through and the 8th. Okay, perfect. Okay? Perfect. I got one more. Should I tell them this one? This is a good one, though. Okay. This is a good one. I'm ready. You're ready? Okay. So, WSA that is would be casting. Us. That would be us. <laughs> Being Mary Jane. Yes! Okay, so, does that sound excited? Did I say that out loud? Just a little bit. Too, okay. Just a little bit. Um, so, submit through Actors Access. We have everything posted there with the description of the roles that we are casting and what we're looking for. Okay, we're doing principles on that one, guys. So, go to Actors Access, look at the roles. If you see that you fit the type, Please go ahead and submit. We're always about looking for new talent. Yes, if you do not fit the tap, please do not submit. Don't make our lives harder. It just makes it a little it bit just makes, harder. And I use life harder. Okay? Yes, it does make my life harder. <laughs> but I've got one more exciting news for you guys. More exciting news? More exciting news. Go for it. Okay, we are doing an open call mm. for... T.I. Tip Harris's latest project. That'll be WSA is doing an open call. That'll be us. Yes, okay. we are. Yes, See, we are. Behind and I used to WSA. WSA. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes, go ahead. Yes. Uh, we are looking for men and women, ATL, born and raised. So basically, you're a Grady baby. Got it. We are seeking raw talent for principal and extra roles. We're doing both on that. Yes, okay, both principals and experts for we Tip's are. latest project. Tip's latest project, okay? The King of the South. 
Uh, we're doing this on Thursday, September 15th. That's next week, Thursday. Mark your calendar, set an alarm, do whatever you got to do, and you have to show up in person. Yes, you, you do. You have to show up in person. And bring those headshots and resumes, and it's going to be from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, and also, guys, I know we're saying Atlanta born and raised. That's exactly what they're looking for, but if you can effectuate that, if you can do it with some real authenticity, come through. You know what I'm saying? You may sound more like Atlanta than some people who were born and raised here. But, you know, we're looking for authenticity, not a caricature. So make sure that you come through and be, be, bring your best Atlanta swag. Okay, ATL swag. Okay, I was just corrected. It's going to be until 4 p.m. Okay, all right. Sorry, 4 p.m. Okay. We're a live show. We're sorry. And it's going to be here at the M. Rich Building. The address is 115 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, Southwest Atlanta, 30303. Please put the zip code in your GPS because yes. people get lost. Our landmark is we. the open call will be near, under the underground? Or near yeah, the underground. near the underground. Exactly. Near the underground. So we hope to see you all here, and you never know what special guests. Might, might pop come up. through. That's right. So make and sure. And see you for themselves. Next week, Thursday. We'll okay. Put you here. Exactly. Be here with us. And the whole WSA clan, Team WSA, oh, yeah. is coming through. So I'm we always represent for called each other. Everybody Call everybody in. Call everybody in. Exactly. <laughs> old school, new school, old school rules. So yes. we will be here and we're very, very excited. Yes. Yes. How was it? When was your first time? I know. It was fun. You did. 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 Everybody in the room was nervous more. We're like, oh my, okay. And I used to do it. You did an excellent job. You Thank must you. come back. I should. Absolutely. Give her a round of applause, guys. Give her a round of applause. Wow. Okay, a lot of firsts going on here. A lot of firsts. Um, I'm super excited. And I'm actually going to be getting out of your way very soon because the piece de resistance is about to happen. A part of the show that you guys have been waiting for. Okay, so. Like I said, in the building, we have Angela Ray, Cassandra Hollis, and Jermaine Brooks, okay? And they're going to deliver their two-minute monologues, and they're going to wow you, and then you're going to vote. And the winner will be viewer's choice. So think about what they're winning, guys. You got to get, and we, I know they're bringing their best. I know they're bringing their A game, and, they, and I hope they have their people watching so they can vote for them, because the winner will get one month of acting classes. Okay, with Dwayne Boyd, the Dwayne Boyd, not just any Dwayne Boyd, the Dwayne Boyd. So, without further ado, okay, we're going to bring on our first contestant, okay, uh, Jermaine Brooks. Jermaine, it's all yours. I'm out of here. Is this thing on? Yes, it's on. <laughs> Go for it. All right, um, hello. Hi, how you doing? Um, I'm Jermaine Brooks. All right, I'm Jermaine Brooks. I'm from Orlando, Florida. And I put my heart and my soul into every line. And um, I hope that reflects. So without further ado, here's my monologue. It's called Stand up. Stand up. You can do it. Did you have a dream? You have a goal? You have to put your all into it. I mean, every ounce that you have within you. I mean, every fiber of your being you want to be an actor, you want to be a musician, an entertainer, be it, live it, do it, because time is, time is slipping away, and you don't want it to fall through the cracks of your fingers like little bits of sand. We only have so much time, and you don't want to 